Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to do a cut crease. Um, and this is the look that I came up with today. I had no idea what I was doing. I kind of just went with it. Um, but I really, really love the outcome of it. And I hope you can learn a thing or two from this video. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with my brows. I'm going to be using my Morphe Brow Cream in the shade Java. It's like a brown top shade. I know it looks really, really thick and harsh, but trust me, when you're doing a cut crease, having more defined brows helps the look stand out a lot more. There's nothing natural about a cut crease, so it's going to look a little bit funny if you have really, really thin um, sparse brows with a cut crease. So that's my preference. Everyone's different, but that's what I prefer to do. Just going to go ahead and do my other eyebrow. Now I'm going to go in and cover my brows with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and it's in the shade C1. I'm just going to grab my synthetic flat top brush to carve out my brows. I'm going to be setting my base with the Laura Mercier translucent powder to help the eyeshadows while I'm blending. It allows for more of a smoother base and I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So now that that's done, I'm going to be taking my Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. I'm going to be dipping into this shade right here. Tapping first the colour onto the lid. Don't stress too much if you get fallout, that's why I've chosen to do the eyes first. You don't want to apply it too close to the brow bone at the start, you want to just keep it very close to your socket and crease. Start lower and build your way up higher rather than starting higher and having no room to move or blend your products. So now that that's all done, I'm going to be grabbing a clean blending brush and I'm going to be dipping into this colour just here and blending around those edges. So once everything's nice and blended, you want to go in with your concealer brush again and your concealer and start to carve out your crease. Following your eye shape. find carving someone else's crease is a lot more easier than doing mine. I don't know, I just feel like I can see where I'm carving rather than keeping one eye open. Alright, so I'm just going to grab my flat top brush and using my 90 Neutral palette um, by Morphe, I'm going to dip into this 
white creamy shade just to set that base. be grabbing my pigment from by Mac in whisper pink so now I'm going to be going in with the bullet brush grabbing this color again from that palette and just pushing the product inwards to blend the outer part and my cut crease together. Now I'm just going to do the same to this side. I'm going to go in with my Ice Studio by Maybelline. I'm going to be putting on my eyeliner. The new eyeliner that I'm using today is my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. This is one of my favourites. It's from the Dog Store and it's about $2. And I'm also going to be applying my lashes now. I'm going to be using my By Shanice Lashes in the style Alvina. I'm just going to apply them off camera and then I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back with my lashes on. Um, I'm just, the glue is still just drying, so I'll let that dry before I go ahead and put any mascara on that. Um, I'm going to move over to my base. I'm going to be using my Emberlease Cream Concentrate. So I love this cream concentrate because it moisturizes my skin at the same time as it primes my base. I'm just going to be applying that everywhere. Working it down my neck. So before I put on foundation, I'm going to be using my Liquid Light Mecha Max Drops in gold. I'm going to be putting the tiniest bit just on my cheekbones, top of my brow, a little bit on my nose, and a little bit on my cupid's brow. So a little bit of this product does go a long way. Um, it's very concentrated. But it's really, really pretty and glowy, which I love. So I'm going to be grabbing my MAC Studio Fix foundation in NC20. I'm going to be mixing that colour with the shade NC10. Now I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Tantour Cream in Light. Now I'm going to go in with my Revlon Super Size Concealer. That underneath my eyes. That one was in the shade C5, and I'm also going to use the shade C1 to brighten up. I'm going to pop that a little bit lower into my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, and chin.
I'm going to be going ahead and setting my face with Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm going to be going in with my shade and light contour palette. Picking up this middle color here. I'm going to start contouring the face with that. Then I'm going to grab my Morphe blush palette in the shade AW. Pick up this pinky shade. Then I'm going to brush away my bake. I'm going to take my dark brown from my 9T palette. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with my Morphe lipstick in Bite Me. And then I'm going to be grabbing my lips, liquid lipstick by Anastasia in the shade Stripped. And apply that on the center. Dab it out with my hands. I'm going to be applying just a gloss. It's by Mecca. It's called Wet Look. I'll be using my highlighter in Pillow Talk by Ofra. Just this middle shade right here. And to finish this look off, I'm going to be using my Morphe setting spray. This is the final look, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and click that bell notification. Thanks for watching.